Hello and welcome. It's me again and me. You know, it's Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State, Florida. It's always good to be back with you again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, good night, wherever you are. Wishing you all the best. And today I thought I'd talk about something that almost everyone that I know has, and I'm sure you the same, and that's a hobby. And the question is that is asked often is how do you turn a hobby into a profitable type business. And if you're looking to supplement your income or looking for additional income, if you're looking for something that will give you extra income, then you want to maybe look towards some of the hobbies that you have, some of the things that you really truly enjoy doing and that you wouldn't mind doing for quite a while and a long time and developing that into a business. Now this is just to whet your appetite because each and every person will come to the table with different hobbies that they might want to pursue and might not. But some of the ones that can really be very profitable for you and you know, but just to reinforce the idea in your mind is freelance photography. And it's today with the selfies and all the other types of photographies that are available, it's certainly something to look into. Freelance photography can be really a good business to turn, a good hobby rather, to turn into a business. And the other is some type of crafting. I have a friend who makes jewelry, who started it off as a little hobby and everybody admired and loved the jewelry so much until she started making it for others. You've seen and you've heard and you've read about this type of story, I'm sure, often. And then there's the person who loves to take care of animals and pets. You can do a pet sitting service, a house uh, service where you go and check on homes to make sure for people who travel a lot, if you're in that type of community, or if you're not, for people who want to make sure that things are cared for and taken care of, and you can set yourself up for people who travel a lot. There's so many different ways, but what you have to do, my friend, is sit down and make a list of all the things that you enjoy doing. Make a list of those things that you enjoy doing, and then begin to discard them because of the ones that you would want to make a business out of and those that you decide that for whatever reason you do not wish to make a business out of. And then the second thing that you're going to do, if you're serious and you are, you wouldn't be tuned in, is get yourself a good website. Do it yourself if you can. And if you can't, then get someone who's good at building a website and gather all the things that you need together to market and to promote your website and the craft and the hobby that you've taken and turned into a business. Just wetting your thirst for maybe this type of adventure. Hope that it is something that you're thinking about. And online businesses, as a tip for you, is really the way to go, no matter what type of business it is that you're going to pursue. So my friend, until the next time, do be well. Look after yourself first, and then each other. And know that I'll be back with you again soon. And until that time, bye-bye for now. Cheers.